Tegan Zia, Max I. Joseph. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got a Hellas from Germany and it is the Tegenzier Max I Joseph Export Beer. Now, Tegenzier are quite a good brewery. I've tried some of their stuff before. They're a monastic brewery, or were a monastic brewery, and they're based in Bavaria, at the foothills of the Alps, no less. And they've got quite a good reputation for being a good brewery. And I have tried some of their other stuff, and I have to say, I was quite impressed. I think I tried the Vice, the, no, I tried the Dark Lager, and I tried their Hellas. This is the export beer, which again is a effectively a Hellas, but it's just brewed for ex export. If you can imagine the Augustina Edel stuff, it's the same thing, it's just an export beer, if you like, slightly stronger brewed for the export market. But it looks quite interesting, and uh, I got this from, I think it was Noble Green. It was pretty reasonable, I think it was about three pound or something like that. And as I said, I do not mind paying for good beer. It's always nice to get a bargain, don't get me wrong. And you know, if you can find a bargain for some decent beer or you discover one, it is a great feeling, but sometimes you're just gonna to have to bite the bullet and pay a little bit extra for good beer. Now, I don't mind doing that. What I really begrudge is paying a lot of money for average or poor beer. And believe me, I've done that. And these videos, hopefully, will make sure you don't have to do that as well. I mean, again, all these videos are just my opinions. And opinions are like arseholes, as I say. Everyone's got one. You generally don't want to hear it. Huh? Anyway, let's investigate this beer. Right, it is a 500ml bottle. It is 5.2%. It is called Max I Joseph. And it is all in German on the back. But it conforms to the Reinheitsgebot, so you know you're going to get good stuff in there. There's going to be no nonsense and no crap. Uh, can't really say much else about this brewery. On, on, you know, I don't know what water they're using, I imagine, because it's, it's, this is based near, a, it's like a tourist resort. It's based on a lake, and I'm not sure whether they're using the water from the lake. I'd, I'd doubt that very much. I'd imagine they've got their own their own artesian well that they get the water from. These Bavarian breweries do make a big thing about using pure spring water, where, you know, obviously British brewers like to use Burton water or Burtonized water, where you've got quite a high mineral content in it that adds flavor or seasoning, as it's known to the beer. Um, I don't know, there's not much on their website about the about the hops that they're using, but I'd imagine that they're using the either the Tetnanga hops or the Halatau hops, because they're two of the, the most popular hops in Bavaria. Normally the sort of Tetnanga and Halatau are the two main ones. And, you know, I'm assuming there's gonna be Bavarian malt in this as well, or Munich malt, if you like, you know, that sweet, roasty, slightly smoky bacon type flavor malt. But I could be completely wrong. So. Let's stop guessing, let's start investigating. Right, get this open. This is where me and the autofocus have a falling out. Work, you bastard, work. See, 
Honestly, this is a Canon EOS, and it's a, not a cheap camera. But the autofocus is absolute fucking dog shit on this. Even on my phone, the autofocus is better. So that's really poor. It's, a, it's an EOS, I think it's the M50. If you're thinking about getting a camera. It's expensive, it's not cheap. It come with a, a microphone. I don't use that microphone. Quite a nice Rode microphone. And they're, Rode are really good. They make fantastic microphones. I use them for vocals with a band and all that. And I've got a set of drum mics for when I'm recording drums. They're really good as well, Rode drum mics. And this, um, what they call it, Lavelle, Lavalier mic, that is a Rode mic as well. So I recommend them as well. I'm not sponsored by any of them. No fucking freebies off them, the tight Aussie bastards. But there you go. There you go, Lois. Right, let's get this into a glass. See what's going on. Now I'm using a, a Bavarian Pilsner glass. I can hear Percy sniffing at the door outside. He's obviously smelt the beer. He can fack off. He's had my guitar over twice a day. I've been doing a bit of recording today. He's had the guitar over twice, the little fucker. Uh, what are you getting on the nose? Mmm, very nice. Nice, sweet Munich malt. That earthy, clean aroma that makes the water smell even nicer. If you can imagine that, the water smells so pure. There's a lot of earth and spice on that. And that's obviously coming from one of them noble hops that have been used in this. He's crying out there, he can, can you hear him? He ain't coming in. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare, that dog. There he is in the glass. Lovely golden straw colour. Fair bit of carbonation. Loosely packed, one finger white head. What are we getting on the nose? Oh, it's more of the same. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Let's get it down the hatch. Zum Wohl, as they say in Germany. Mm. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's a fucking fly in it. How the fuck did a fly get in there? That tastes really nice. There is some lovely doughy biscuit malt on the finish on that and it just lasts for ages. A little touch of hay and grass on there as well. Lovely. <clears throat> Absolutely gorgeous. Quite full bodies as well. There's a there's quite a big sort of well, there's a huge bisque, doughy biscuit aftertaste on that. There's some nice spice and some nice grass or hay coming from them hops. And there's a, as I say, there's a touch of spice on there too, which is like black pepper. But all in all, it's a typical Bavarian Hellas and it tastes absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's lovely. That is going down so well. I think I've got to calm that down because I could probably down that in a matter of minutes. Really nice. I think I think this was about three pound seventy or something like that. Three pound seventy-five. Well worth it. I don't have a problem paying that amount of money for a beer that tastes as good as this. This is amazing. All the good things you get from a Bavarian Hellas, they've got it in here, everything. You got the lovely doughy biscuit malt finish, which is huge. But before that, you're getting them lovely, typical German noble hops, like with earth, spice, but there's a cleanness to them that you just don't get with any other hop variety that just it, i think it's probably my taste perception but it just makes the water 
It could, it could actually be the water, but you can smell the cleanliness of the water or the purity of the water. That's what I get from these hops. It just complements the water, if you can imagine that. I know it sounds convoluted and pretentious, but that's, that's my perception of it. And I think if you do try these beers, a lot of these Pilsners, <coughs> a lot of these Pilsners, and a lot of these Bavarian Hellas that use quality ingredients, you do get that just clean, aroma and flavour to it. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's unmistakable. You don't get it in any other style. Don't get me wrong, the Pilsners are nice too. And Czech Pilsners are, you know, absolutely amazing, but they just don't have that clean drinking of the Hellas. I mean, there's obviously people would disagree with that and you're perfectly entitled to. It's pointless arguing over it. It's all a matter of taste. It's like arguing over music. You can't say one band is better than another. So what's the verdict on this? Excellent. I had high hopes for this and I wasn't disappointed. And it's really good. In fact, I'd go so far, so far as to say this is better than their Hellas. This is the this is the export version of their Hellas. I'm assuming this is what it is, but it just tastes nicer, it just tastes cleaner, and I like the flavour. Now that's not always the case because the Augustina Eagle stuff, which I'm going to compare it to because they're from the same region, probably using the same ingredients. The Edel stuff I don't think is as good as their Augustina Hellas. But this, this is their export. That is better than their Hellas in my opinion. But it's just got everything you'd expect. I haven't been disappointed by this lot at all. Really good. And I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I always do, if it's good. And it's rare that a Bavarian brewer will let me down. It's beer heaven, as uh, a certain punk subscriber from Holland calls Bavaria, and that's a pretty good description of it. Don't get me wrong, I love my British beers, but I do like my German stuff as well. Good beer is good beer. And this is a 10 out of 10, and this is recommended. And remember, beer is working class champagne.